Hey, what's up, world? Um, <clears throat> today I decided to make a video um, just telling y'all a little bit about my process and what I went through um, going from a pest control technician to a pest control service manager with the same company. Um, <clears throat> I started with the company that I'm with, you know, I'll keep their name out of it and got my hat backwards. Don't want to, you know, give them any reason for anything, but, um, started with the company that I'm with in 2017, May of 2017 as a, what they call a start tech. So a start tech. Um, starts with the pest control company servicing uh, their initial <coughs> um, sales. Most of the time you're out with a sales team and they give the whole spiel about, hey, we're in your neighborhood. Uh, we just serviced your neighbor, John, and uh, we were hoping to get you signed up today. We're giving discounts since we have a spray truck in the neighborhood and I would be that spray truck um, come in and service the house right away. If they do sail ahead of you, then you'll just have go on the app and complete your stops in the route. Um, but you're still doing initial services, startup services for customers. Uh, so I started doing that. Um, and within a month, I got onto a, a regular route, uh, a, uh, just servicing customers that are on their second service and beyond. Um, <clears throat> um, I like the work. Uh, I like dealing with people. I like problem solving. I liked uh, the fact that you were pretty much not just a uh, you know a, a spray tech. You know you you actually improving people's <clears throat> you know health and awareness and you know killing killing bugs that carry disease and uh things like that so you know that was rewarding for me i, I like that aspect it didn't pay great i got seven kids and a wife so you know the career change I, I knew that i was getting into the business to move up in the company i had no desire to be a tech forever so um fast forward a little bit until uh, about a year later, I got my technician license um, <clears throat> from an apprentice. Started out as an apprentice and then got my, my technician license um, about a year and a half in or something like that. The whole time I'm out there busting my butt, uh, really trying to show off and show you know my customer service skills and my ability to be dependable and go above and beyond for my clients, go above and beyond for the business, uh, picking up Saturdays, doing anything that they needed me to do pretty much. Um, <clears throat> and it wasn't going great. Uh, I had a manager that I felt at the time really was blocking my shine because he knew that I had the ability to, to do his job. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I, I didn't get much shine from, from him. You know, he knew how good I was and I actually won tech of the year my first two years. Um, so, I mean, you know, he gave me a little bit, but as far as recognition with the owners of the company who kind of make the decisions, it's a smaller pest control company. So as far as with those guys, you know, he kind of kept it under wraps. <coughs> um, they eventually, company growing, small company, right? So companies growing, they eventually get a position called uh, lead tech. And um, the lead tech, uh, they gave it to a guy that wasn't me. Uh, I was working in an area that was kind of far away from my main service area. So I wasn't around for like the day-to-day -day operations where most of the techs work <clears throat> in the Austin area. Um, I was pretty far away. So, you know, I wouldn't be able to help the, you know, the lead tech basically helps the service manager. Um, I wouldn't have been around to help much because I, my route was too far away. 
and they needed me on that route. Um, so you know, I just got stored away. So fast forward, um, fast forward a little bit um, to where things start going bad with that service manager and uh, the company. Um, <clears throat> he ended up leaving and uh, the ops manager kind of assumed the position of service manager for about eight months until he was like, hey, uh, and I also, he also still had that lead tech. Uh, he went to the owners and was like, hey, we got to do I, this is driving. I got my job. But I got this second job. You know, this is too much for me. So we need to get somebody. So at that time, I'm thinking, yeah, it's my time. You know, they about to give me my shine. You know, even though I was just still in tech, I felt like people knew what I had to offer. Yeah. So they end up giving it to the lead tech guy. And, uh, you know, it makes sense, right? He uh, was the, basically the assistant manager for a while. So it makes sense. They gave it to him. And he put in his notice a month after taking the position. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, hold on, let me backtrack a little bit. So when they made him, when they made him, the, the, when they made that lead tech guy, service manager, they also promoted me to lead tech at that time. Um, so I was lead tech for all of a month, maybe, before this guy put in his notice. And then the ops manager came to me and he was like, hey, I think I made a mistake. Um, I think we may have, we, we should have went with you to begin with. And I, I you know, I want to offer you, um, the position of service manager now, um, uh, because, you know, the guy we gave it to is leaving, you know, he can't really handle it. Um, so, uh, he stayed for about a month. He tried to train me as much as he could. Uh, poor guy. He, he wasn't in the position that long. He didn't really know enough. I, I got the basics of it. And, um, you know, just kind of took it. Now, keep in mind, at this time, I still only have my technician license. I don't have a certified that in Texas. Um, <clears throat> you, for any pest control business, you got to have what's called a RCA, a Responsible Certified Applicator. Usually that person is a service manager. Um, but once I assumed the position of service manager, I only had my tech license at the time. And, um, you know, spoke with the owners. They're like, hey, you got to eventually obtain your uh, CA license so you can assume the position of RCA uh, to take this position. So, um, I, um, you know, eventually got my CA, uh, became RCA. Once I took the job as service manager, I only had uh, about six technicians um and then the company started growing like crazy man in different areas and you know they wanted me to manage these other guys in different areas uh still in texas but different parts of texas and um you know fast forward again to you know 2022 you know fall 2022 right now where i'm the service manager and I really should be like an area manager or a general manager or something like that because of my territory that I cover. But I'm the service manager for the Austin area, Waco area, uh, College Station area, and Lubbock, Texas area. Um, so, and I have about four different lead, I have four lead techs and I have um, about 30 technicians working under those lead techs um but yeah man i know i didn't go crazy in the detail you know with a crazy you know uh story or anything like that you know i just want to kind of you know put my little put my little story out there and kind of you know let, let you guys know what it what my journey was like going from a technician to a to a service manager um as I mentioned, I do feel like my, my job has kind of changed. I do feel like I'm more of a, a regional manager or area manager now, but I'm still a service manager. I've gotten a couple raises throughout the years. I was my <coughs> third year. Uh, this, this fall makes my third year of being a service manager. And you know, as I mentioned, my, my workload <laughs> has went from, 
you know, one area to four different areas and over, you know, 30 something employees now. But um, before I get out of here, I, I guess I'll drop a little bit of what I'm kind of responsible for now. Um, <clears throat> you know, training, of course, uh, fleet management, um, you know, file keeping, uh, <clears throat> you know, making sure you know, anybody that gets hired, gets trained properly, get, gets registered with the Texas Department of Agriculture as a apprentice, uh, making sure guys uh, progress as well, going from an apprentice to a technician and also getting termite licensing. And, uh, I, I've got some guys that have went from an apprentice all the way up to a certified applicator. So, uh, you know, just making sure guys' career keep progressing, make sure my career keeps progressing make sure the business uh, has limited liability. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not in the field as much as a service manager now. My lead techs are in the field. They're basically like field managers. And uh, you know, I take care of all the administrative stuff, all the office stuff, uh, upkeep the shop, order products, um, you know, keep log of all that kind of stuff. So yeah, man, it's a little bit about my journey, a little bit about where I am now. And, uh, you know, trying to figure out kind of where to go from here, man. Three years as a service manager. Um, I'd like to, you know, keep moving and keep progressing my career. So uh, any of you guys out there that uh, see this video and, you know, you had a similar path, you know, kind of drop in the comments, kind of how, you know, what was your story and kind of where you went from here. You know, I'd love to kind of hear about it a little bit, man. And, definitely not a professional youtuber or nothing like that that's why this video is not edited and don't have all those pretty cuts and back and forth and all that kind of stuff it's just a straight you know 13 minute video <laughs> of me just yapping you know uh, at the back of my truck but um but yeah man hope y'all enjoyed a little bit of my story you know i'll, I'll make other videos where i go more into detail about the specific uh levels of my journey and get into real detail of you know kind of how that went if this video does okay um this video does okay people like it and then uh you know i'll, I'll make some other videos man and kind of get into some uh, you know a little bit about uh, the details of my journey and then also the details of the job i do right now uh, so if y'all are interested you know like the video and uh i'll drop some more man thank y'all so much and uh i'll let y'all later